Ever gotten stuck trying to figure out which colors to use in our redecor challenges? There are so, so many opinions and theories behind using color in interior design. And of course, it's all very subjective. Everyone has their own personal style. In fact, there are so many possible choices that it can be overwhelming. So here's a short guide to help you get started. Everyone always talks about choosing your color palette. Maybe the best way to approach this is to use some science. Remember the color wheel from elementary school? You have the primary colors. They're colors that can't be made by mixing any other colors together. Secondary colors, which are made by mixing two primary colors together. And tertiary colors, which are the shades made by mixing primary and secondary colors together. One approach to forming your color palette is to use complementary colors. Those are two colors that are opposite to each other on the color wheel. Once you've selected which complementary colors you want to base your palette on, think of using different shades, tints, and tones of those colors. Another approach to creating your color palette is to use analogous colors. That means choosing three colors that are right next to each other on the color wheel. Here as well, you can decide how vibrant the colors you choose should be. A good rule of thumb to remember, no matter what color scheme you choose, is the 60-30-10 rule. Use the most neutral shade in your palette in 60% of the room. This will be the dominant color, so you don't want it to be too overwhelming. Next, choose a second color from your palette for 30% of the room. You can go a bit more vibrant with this one. And my favorite part? Fill the last 10% of your design with a bold color from your palette. This will make sure everything is balanced and beautiful. What are your favorite color schemes? Let us know below and good luck experimenting with these color combinations in the Redecor challenges. And don't forget to subscribe.